Oh my god, I didn't watch you since Warcraft 3. Hey, what's up, Sensax? Yeah, that wasn't me, Ozzy Self. I'm not level 280. I don't have grubby named Smurfs. I don't have any Smurfs. Except the ones I made for the Vulture Mount promo. Yes, it's true. I finally admit it. The Vulture Mount friends I had. They were my own Smurfs. They were not actually my, my pet rabbits. Can you tell your team to ban Sylvanas? No, you can do that yourself. White main felt very strong that game as well. Well, this is game number five of my night of every game goes to YouTube. No, six. If you're watching this video in the right order, the last five videos were an uncharacteristic amount of losses in terms of YouTube highlights, but a very characteristic amount of losses for my Twitch stream. Yeah, Genji is very strong at high level and very weak at low level, Mr. Morty. So it begins. March of the Black King can be good, Osisop. If you feel like Entomb will make your team play worse. Sometimes, if the enemy has Wombo Combo, the last thing you want to do is Entomb. Because it makes your allies draw to the Entomb victim like moths to flame. And by grouping up, you play right into the devouring Maul Zagara. It is time. Gravo Bomb Gaslo and Diablo Apocalypse Wombo again. Combo with a big flame strike on top of you of, on top of it. Shall flee my grass. Right, oh. I'm new to Hots, what's Grubby's best character? Uh, the Lost Vikings. My life. Actually, Deckard Kane! In Hero League, my best win rate ever is Deckard Kane. And then the Vikings. And then my F with a three hero sample size, the Nova. I don't even know how to play Nova. I played a lot of Kerrigan in Hero League. Hit and miss. Somehow Sonia is my second most played high win rate hero. And then Sergeant Hammer, my third high win rate most played. And then Anubarak. Taronda somehow. Le what? Leo? I know not. I know not what is happening. They went for Zul and Greymane, two auto attackers. I played a win. I played a win. Two auto attackers for which we should have a blind. It seems good to go Cassia, but it depends on what Kabula wants to go for. Maybe he should do ja Johanna? Victory above all. I 
I think Muradin's fine. It's fine for me. I'm gonna let it time out. Because I need to go restroom. So thank you, ma. Any chance of Mark Kerrigan tonight still, pretty please. Uh, it wasn't that good to play Kerrigan against Hanzo. Earlier today. I could do more Kerrigan, but my high death count kind of makes me wary to do that again. No garage both games. Yeah, I mean, both teams. I mean, they want a D.Va solo tank, so... <laughs> like I said, Hero League is a combination of heroes that people think are good or that they like to play. Yeah. The 1v5 Thrall from last game is now Gul'dan. What is my favorite hero? It depends, really. And these days I like oh, White Mane and Kalthizans a lot. And I think I'll like Mephisto a lot. Yeah, the Hanzo is my F. I mean, I'm playing with the same people all the time. Because either they snipe or it's all that's playing. I don't mind. I'll get more blinds. How much? Strike with fury. <laughs> Make haste. Greetings, friend. Am I top? I guess. I feel like if I'm gonna get rooted anyway, I should do an impale like that. Strike with fury. I thank you. Yes. Can you Agreed. go into some detail on Cassia talent you pick? I just started playing her and have had some fun with her. Hey, Ref Peters, thank you very much. Uh, no problem. Her most popular talent is Thunderstroke. It has about 65% pick rate across the board. It's uh, narrowly the second win rate talent. The best talent uh, by win rate is Seraph's Him. They're actually really close. They're actually really close in win rate, uh, but like I said, the Thunderstroke gets picked a lot more. It's the quest for your... Uh, oh my god. It's the quest for your Q. It's the easiest way to do a lot of poke damage. And it's not just poke damage, it's also still really good in team fight. I might be dead. <laughs> Uh, it's still really good in team fight as well. It's we're talking about a lot of extra damage in the second charge, mana cost reduction. So there's a lot of goodness in it either way. Um, so Ruff's him is better for single target. This one is better for poke, and it's a bit safer as well. They're both good. At level four, the best win rate and the biggest pick rate is Ring of the Leech. 
I don't like playing Cassia with anything except Ring of the Leech. It's the kind of self-sustain that isn't important just because you may have no support or something like in a quick match. It's always good because when the going gets tough, you start throwing things and you heal. That's always very valuable. Then um, at level 7, the most popular talent and the best at pro play is Surge of Light. It offers multiple procs of really high area of effect damage around Cassia. But it's not the best win rate. That actually goes to Impale, which is funny because Fend is an ability that you should use as infrequently as possible. I use it more than you should. But I guess because it does more damage to low people, it's when you use it to finish someone, which is the only time you should ever use it, it does its job better. And by not pulling yourself out of position to get some kind of surging light procs, you probably end up playing safer. I think that's why that talent... Uh, but bursting light is better. And surge, surge of light, and that's what I'll go. I should be dead. But uh, aggressive positioning. Like I said, you shouldn't fend unless it's a kill. I did fend and yeah, that's horrible. And then I died it. Impel just got buffed too. Did it really? It's Zug Zug on Warcraft streams now, Varys. It's feeds on hot streams. Do not take my fountain. I'm returning to base camp. Ball lightning has the bigger win rates, and because they don't have a tank, they pretty much have to like hard engage all the time. I guess so. Valkyrie doesn't do as well. I'm gonna go ball lightning. I already have more blinds, so this is more likely to do significant damage as well. Ideally, it's like ball lightning into blind in a team fight, so that I do a lot of damage with it. Looks like we're going for a fight rotation. Merlin needs me if he's looking to make something happen. Stupid. Not really a team player. Oh, 
How to be a good diva? Uh, don't pick her. It's the best. I'm a diva main and I never play her. Weapons ready. Success. <laughs> Could have been a scary horrify. Got away just in time for it not to be. The weakest win rate is uh I should have ball lightning. The weakest win rate is the slow. And uh these two are better, but I don't have any fent talent, so I don't know if I should get extra range in area and a longer duration. I can still get the uh, Lightning Fury CDR, but it's much less useful when you don't have the level 1. So I'm still gonna go get the slow. Yeah, I could have deed. Uh, I, I felt like I did press the deed up. Ow. I'm gonna sack an easy tap. March forward. Meet your death. This game too is one of the ones that goes on YouTube, win or lose. It seems like every time I've been afraid to say that at the beginning of the game, in the draft, we've been winning. Maybe it's a pressure thing, maybe maybe not. Maybe I just jinxed us, maybe not. Not saying we're winning though! Actually, with this level 1 talent, Seraph's him, I should never W into anything else than auto attacks, because you do a lot of bonus damage. I've been misplaying her quite heavily. In more ways than one, but that one is quite an easy one to fix. I'm gonna get martial law, bonus damage if they're CC'd. Ow, ow. <laughs> I shouldn't offend it. <laughs> That's pretty much the story of almost every Cassia death. <laughs> My god. We we pressured hard for that fight. We did have talent lead, but... That was not a good fight. We were a bit low on resources, like mana health and stuff. M Merlin had no mana. Yeah, I should unbind E. Really? Oh, no. I've won games like that. Merlin pushed hard for that fight, but I should have just let him go. Then I joined and it was bad. Osmo with the 360. 360 no scope. Suddenly we're down in level when we've been leading fairly handily. Now also down in structure, so... Not the best news. The dwarf led us to ruin. Yeah. 
Uh, when the opponent has a draft like this, you should neither feel sorry for them, nor lose, I guess. Make haste. Normally. What is this? An enemy has disappeared? Oh my god. Phew! March forward. I lost some important cooldowns there. That was pretty rubbish. My whole flank, ill-advised. As the oracles have foreseen. You know what to do. Slay the guardians. Unleash the punisher. Go now. Man, bolt lightning comes back fast. Help! I shouldn't have walked into those skeletons. Yo, Delarock, thank you for the, thank you for the bits, man. It's a trash fight by me. That's game, probably. Focus up. We can still beat them. Jinxed. Jinxed hard. Scorched Psyche Friggin' Pandas, Gaslord for President, Boss Mandu, Panama Red, and Tube82. Thank you for the six feeds. Death deters no daughter. I guess it is uh, quite over. I don't think we can hold. Well played, it's over. That was a good grey maining, that was poor Cassiang. And uh, a nice little jinx for a GG. MVP. I'm just very rusty, I suppose. Rusty or just... Not too, uh, we are winning. Yeah, well, I I recognized that was a uh, risky thing, but you know, it wasn't. I don't think I started the descent into madness. I wasn't talking smack. I don't think I started the descent into madness. It was a pretty hardcore murder and engage with zero mana, but I didn't play well with the... Uh, with my abilities didn't get a lot of auto attacks off possibly some risk you know against horrify and 
Bone prison. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video of Heroes of the Storm on YouTube, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so that you know when we next go live with another video. Thank you very much.